Hello everyone, Marius here. Today I will be checking out Lo-Fi, which is pretty much a combination of everything I could ever want in a video game. Uh, you have cyberpunk, uh, you have an open world, and uh, you have uh, VR. Mr. Lee. Uh, today I will be making a new video series for you called Early Access VR. Uh, in this series I tend to check up on and follow certain early access games. So the thing about the VR is that there's a lot of early access titles as VR is still a pretty young medium. And some of these titles have been out for years, right? And have come very far in their development, while others have like the bare basics to even be called a video game. So uh, I know that I have been on the fence about many of these titles myself. Uh, so in this series I want to give you an insight into these games and show you where they're at in development and whether or not you should pick them up. Okay folks, here we go. So here is Lo-Fi. To get Lo-Fi in its early access state, you need to go to itch.io. You'll need a profile and you need to buy this title there. It costs 35 US dollars. And this has been out for a while. Like, as I said, last time I played this was about a year ago, and then it didn't really ha have that much. But um, currently, you, you get to see this world, and the world is just breathtaking. It offers, as it says here, a massive open world sandbox style adventure. Uh, I wouldn't say that what I've played previously was like massive, but it was big enough for me. Uh, and there was enough detail in those environments that it stayed interesting. So what I've been missing uh, is this part here. Hundreds of crimes and stories to solve and explore. I've kind of been holding off on this until more of that comes into the game. And gunplay. That's also one of those things. Uh, what they do have now and what they have had for a while is those arcade minigames. I've not really delved into those too much, but I played a couple of them and they're pretty cool. Gunplay was non-existent last time I played this. Like you could for fun go to a shooting range or you could shoot some robots just to have a laugh basically. <laughs> but there wasn't really any gunplay to speak of last time I played this. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to see how far that has come along. So we're gonna check this out. I'm actually gonna use my Quest 1 to play this and that is because it has OLED display <clears throat> and this game as you probably can see here when I show you this screenshot there's a lot of dark. There's a lot of darkness to it right so OLED is just mwah. I'm thinking uh, they're aiming for the PSVR 2 since we know that is an OLED headset. I'm pretty sure this uh, game is aimed at the PSVR 2 as one of the launch titles. I cannot tell you for certain because I do not know for certain but I'm thinking uh, most likely given the fact that there's so much darkness in here that it has something to do with that. At this point in time, the latest update is um, a lot of different things, like they got a racetrack, more stuff in the arcade in the game. And what really interests me is the crime scene spawns. Because that means there's something to do in the game now. There are crime scenes. And you play like a cop, so that is uh, really cool. Um, what else? More stuff is shootable, so vending machines are shoot shootable. Um, so there's a lot of stuff and added multiple crime scenes. Triggers yet to be implemented. 
Uh, I'm going to record internally <coughs> from my Quest 1. Um, I will be using virtual desktop because I really love virtual desktop and I get a little, I get the ability to choose even darker colors in virtual desktop which we do need for this particular game excuse me glasses, gotta go yeah so uh, I'm gonna stop the recording right now and we'll, we'll be back once I've set up my quest one to record let's do this so um thinking stationary mm -hmm. tracking mode so here we have it folks uh, I'm gonna do a new career. So they actually have saving and loading in this game. That is cool. So straight off the bat, one of the different things for me is that I'm playing in my Quest 1 now with my OLED display and that, <laughs> that does make a big big difference. It feels much much darker however it also feels much grainier so you do do not need to play this with your quest one or anything like that right uh, but it is much darker and moodier with the oled display man this game world is beautiful like god damn is it beautiful flying cars all over the place and lights and this thing here god damn holy shit and here you see we have like a floating map really cool so um, just this boot up is, is kind of worth $35 if you're into cyberpunk and science fiction and everything. <laughs> it's kind of like that ear car experience, just this boot up sequence. And this is just a start, like this was there a year ago as well. Um, this has been there all the time, this initial like startup sequence. And uh, you can actually steer this cruiser, um, but I don't think you can in this startup sequence. I think that's like later on you can actually steer it. So here we're docking. This is pretty much like a cutscene, right? Um, So here we go, we're inside the actual game. Here we have, uh, oh, this is new. I've never seen this before. So here you have a camera. <laughs> really cool, man. And here we have uh, a radio. Pretty awesome. Really cool, man. Uh, here we have a tape deck. Probably if we find some tapes or something. I don't know. Have no idea what that just did. But it was really cool. <laughs> so here we can save the game and stuff like that. Huh. Locomotion. Seated. Snap turn. Graphics. Huh. 
たいっていう、うん、So、um, Alright、um, It doesn't seem Yeah, okay There we go How are you? Oh, yeah. Who's the stick? That's the guy you're replacing. 36 years of age, found just outside of his cruiser in the club district. Cause of death? Blunt force trauma to the chest. Off the、hmm. spot like a balloon. Toxicology showed he was jacked up on just about everything under the sun. But that's true of pretty much every lo fi, isn't it? So I'm a lo fi. Way too many similarities. A serial killer on your hands, Sheriff. It's actually kind of exciting. I'm flirting. Impressive police work, Sheriff. Hey, you want to grab a drink sometime after my shift's over? Just kidding. My shift's never over. Plus, I'm pretty sure I'll self destruct if I leave the station. Oh. Okay. So. We can flirt. We have a serial killer at our hands.、Um, here we have even more dead bodies. There's a lot of detail to this world. We were in there, talked about this, talked to this girl about the serial killer. So, what we're gonna do now. Is、uh, I think this psych evaluation thing should be working. Can I help you, officer? So,、uh, show me what's available. Hmm, well, this is all they have. All right, I don't know, whatever.、Uh, let's go to the sh- Shooting range afterwards. We're not there yet, no. This looks like ammo, actually. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Greetings, officer. Simply touch the screen to unlock the terminal. You can search a specific entry using the keyboard. Entries are updated in real time according to data gathered in the field. Hmm. Okay, let's save our game. Um, Alright, database. So here's, here are cases Hollow Dex Hotel. Suspected. Impropriety, suspected housing of near humans running custom firmware, suspected violations of Indecency Act of 2033. So, these are just places in the game, I think. Run by a meta arm, popular meeting place. Blair Renaud, suspected corporate espionage, suspected software piracy, suspected directives violations. So, this is a person in the game world. Huh. Okay, so these are like people and places. Club district. Lo fi majority population, high crime area.、Oh. Alright. And what's in here though? Lockup. Is this like where we keep our prisoners?、Huh. You don't say. <laughs> Pretty cool. So, to run, you have to actually push this thing.
thing in. Okay, so I think we're done in the police station. I don't think there's anything else to see here. Explain this area to me. Submit. This is starting to look like a proper open world where you can freely roam around and solve cases at your own pace. Uh, Robocop. He has the Robocop gun. <laughs> cool. So we're gonna actually go ahead and go inside the game world. Uh, we're gonna choose Auto Nav. That means that you can choose a destination for your cop car to go instead of um, instead of flying it yourself. You could, of course, just fly um, on your own. So here we have wastelands, we have new Kowloon, apartments, old tech town, club district. Thinking we're heading there to the club district and we're gonna just see what's there. Yeah, and that looks extremely pretty, man. And here we have all kinds of like droids all over the place here's something uh, someone emptying the trash and there we have a crime scene. I can see it in the front there. <laughs> so this is new. This is not something that was there previously. Wow. What have we got? Huh. And he's... He has a whole bunch of ammunition. Uh, here I could, if I wanted to, take a picture of him. <laughs> Man, this is, this is uh, cool. Yeah. Who's the vet victim? As with many lo-fi, we have nothing on fire. So, so it doesn't seem to me like they have properly implemented everything just yet. There we go. Hmm. Clean it up. Yes. Pretty cool. Public toilet. I buy for a lot of money. <laughs> wow. 
That's cool. Like the music as well in this game is just awesome. Okay, so like you can pretty much do whatever you want here like uh, I can go into all of these but I'm not going to um, now showing I'm actually not sure if I can go in here yeah sure I can even go to the theater I have to see that There is a lot of stuff going on. What's show? The currently screening Gamay La vs. Lewis, a Japanese monster movie from 1968. You may know it by its American title, Destroy All Plans. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna go watch a movie. Um, good for you to know, though, that you can watch a movie. The coolest thing, in my opinion, currently, is the fact that you can go ahead and solve crimes in this cyberpunk world. Um, that is really cool, and like, how well realized this is. Like, it runs perfectly, I have no frame rate issues, um, and it looks breathtaking. Like, the reflections and everything, it just... It looks extremely good, man. Um, you can head to the casino. I've been there before, actually. So now you can actually enter all the shops in this part of the game. The reason why I wanted to head here is because I remember that this part of the game was pretty well realized last time as well. So here you can buy stuff. Let's go uh, take our cruiser for a spin. That's what we're gonna do. What? What's the situation? There's a lot of blood. What is this place? <laughs> There's a lot of blood, but we don't know what happened. there's no one here so here's some blood we're gonna go ahead and take a picture and that is evidence there's blood but there's no one here and this is a fetish club no blood in the bathroom
footprints. So here we have blood. Oh! <laughs> um, yeah, I can't pick up that. So, they torture synthetics. That's what he said. So that's what happened here. So, you can actually use your sticks to control your um, cruiser or you could use this like thing here and this thing here um, you can turn on your siren or your lights yeah I'm actually gonna use my um, motion controls to control this. As you see I have my siren on at the moment. I'm heading to this, uh, what's it called? X or something. Oh, what the... Okay, so this is most definitely something new. What is this? Is this kind of... Yeah, I think this is what they call the wastelands. So... There's only one thing showing up. And that is this wheel on the map there, you see. That's the only thing that really looks like it's there. I'm guessing that's like some sort of driving challenge or something. Uh, looks totally awesome. There you have it, folks. Lo-fi on the... Quest 1, actually, um, really enjoyed this experience, um, really cool that you can go around solving cases, like I love games where you can play like a de detective, and this is in the cyberpunk genre as well, so this is just perfect for me. If you're like me and you love those kinds of games, I would most definitely recommend uh, that you go check it out. Um, is it worth? $35 at the moment if you're a big fan of these kinds of games and if you're like me and you want to show your support to the development sure um, hope they manage to come even further with this I am of the impression that they have a lot of stuff that they have not shared yet because uh, last time I asked about quests in the game and something to do uh, I got the answer that uh, they were probably going to try to release everything at once so that kind of uh, hints at there that there's a lot that they have not shared right uh, I'm not sure like I'm not the one developing this game so uh, but most definitely They've come a long way in the last year, and I'm thinking they have a lot they have not shared, so I don't think that we have to wait too long until this game is getting released. I think, just thinking, just thinking out loud here, but I think this is uh, one of the um, release titles for the PlayStation VR 2, like the OLED dark colors all over the place this really feels like it's going to be a release title for the psvr 2 so then we have like half a year to wait maybe a little more maybe maybe 
up towards a year but there's a lot there as it is click the thumbs up button if you like it leave a comment down below uh, and uh, subscribe and please share with me if you think there's something I've missed that I should try all right see you next time